Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So this is a, a Q&A video that I, I wanted to do. I asked you for some, some questions on Discord and you guys definitely delivered. So first of all, thank you so much. If you want to take part in future Q&As, uh, definitely go follow me or I guess go join the channel on, on Discord. I'll likely do one in a week from now once we're, we're gearing up for episode 6. And then we'll also talk about the events of what happened in episode 5. And yeah, there will be a lot of discussions then about episode 6 and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely go follow me on Discord. And obviously, if you are new to the channel and you want more walking to content like this, then make sure to be a subscriber. Also, I guess I should have said the link for the Discord is in the description. It's just at Appetite for the Dead if the link doesn't work for some reason. But let's get into the first question here. Uh, from, from Ben Rob 5 who is an awesome moderator here on the channel, uh, he said that since the episode seems based around Aaron, do you think he will start to, to go down a darker path this episode? I don't know if he's going to go down a darker path because it seems like what they're doing right now is almost making Carol go down the darker path or making her be a little bit more reckless and emotional right now because of what happened to Connie. And that's sort of my predictions for the episode is that like episode six is it just it seems like it's weirdly placed. After we're going to get some Kelly, uh, Carol, and Aaron stuff here. You know, Aaron's the more reasonable one here. He didn't want to go on that trip to Meridian. He didn't want to bring any of them to, to Alexandria, right? Maggie wanted to, and look what happened. So many people died. Aaron's like, no, I think we can scavenge around the area. I think we can find supplies here. I think in the end, they're all going to be wrong, right? I think Aaron's not going to be able to find anything. And I think Maggie and them at Meridian, it's going to be completely, completely wiped out. They're going to lose everything. They're all going to come back with nothing. And I think that's when the Commonwealth show up. But still, I think Aaron's kind of, he's a little bit, He's a little more reasonable right now. And in terms of who is going to be more of the darker one, I think it's Carol, I think, in this situation, just because she's very, again, she's very emotional. She's being very reckless. And I do think if she finds any type of hint, as soon as she finds out that Connie's alive, I think she's going to freak out and she's going to be trying to find her immediately. I, I don't think she's going to listen to anyone. And so I kind of see Aaron in all of this being more of the the more reasonable one right right like he's very level-headed right now i would say he like, like he's kind of they're almost setting him up to be like the next leader of alexandria if you think about it like if gabriel dies they're kind of setting him up as being the next leader of alexandria like the, the, he he is staying here throughout all of it another question here from from ricky do you see rick showing up this season if not uh, i think a lot of people will be mad i do see rick showing up this season i i definitely do like i, I see rick appearing in the very last episode i don't see it i don't see him appearing any more than that though i i think it's going to be in the last episode i actually think that's gonna be the next time we do see him and i know people are going to point out you know it ruins a lot of the reveal for the movies because you know how it's going to end right the whole trilogy is going to end with rick back on the show i just i don't see it that way I, honestly i really don't and they could do a lot by not having Michonne on the show, right? Like, they could easily do that. If Michonne's not on the show, then the question's going to be, well, did Michonne die, right? Like, that's going to be really worrisome, right? Or maybe Daryl's not in that final scene where they jump forward 20 years. And then the questions are going to be, did Daryl die? There, there's going to be so much there that I think they can do. I just think if, if of, of any of the characters of, like, Rick, Michonne, Daryl, and Carol, the one character that needs to be there is is rick in my opinion the other three they don't have to do that right like michonne could can be gone for whatever reasons daryl and carol can be gone because of that spinoff and this way it doesn't ruin what happens in the spinoff but rick i just i think he needs to be in that episode and i i really do believe it i really believe he's going to be in the very last one it might be for a short scene but there's no way you end the walking dead without having andrew lincoln on the show or, or, or Rick Grimes, right? There, there's no way in hell. So I, I think it's going to happen. Next question here. Do you think we'll meet Sebastian and Pamela Milton in this episode? If not them, will we get to meet the real Stephanie? I uh, probably not Pamela Milton. Sebastian Milton is, is a, a maybe. I think it's possible. If not that, the real Stephanie, yeah, I do really think that we're going to see her here. Because, like, I remember there being some behind-the-scenes photos uh, of Margot Bingham. I think the actress who plays Yumiko, or maybe it was Seth Gilliam who posted them. But, like, one of the Walking Dead actors or, or actress was posting a bunch of photos a few months ago. And we saw Margot Bingham on set uh, with, with Yumiko. Or, I guess, Eleanor Mat Matsura, I believe her, her name is. And so, when I look at that, I'm like, yeah, at some point, she's going to be here. I don't think it's going to be in 7. I mean, I think she'll probably be in 7. But I, I think it's going to happen in 5. It'll probably be a reveal at the end. And uh, I think that's the most there. Like, Sebastian, again, that's a maybe. I don't know. I still feel a little iffy about that. It almost seems a little too soon. But I think it is also possible, right? Like, if we're seeing the Commonwealth, 
I think it's possible. If not in five, then for sure in seven. It'd be crazy to not see to see him in seven. But Pamela Milton, again, I'm really leaning on it being a no. Next question, whose death would shock you the most? Um, I guess at this point, it would probably be Negan. Only because, you know, the, like, I'm really just assuming he's going to live, right? And he's the one character out of all the, the most popular characters on the show that doesn't have a spinoff or anything else in, like after this, right? Like, after The Walking Dead ends next year, according to what's been announced so far, Negan's story is done. It's just as simple as that. It's done. And so, could they kill him off here? They could. Honestly, they could kill off that character. If Jeffrey Dean Morgan says that he doesn't want, really want to play the character anymore, he wants to kind of wrap up the story, give Negan like the, the this ending where he does sacrifice himself for Alexandria or whatever, I could totally see Negan dying in that sense but when i think of it from the from like the uh, money perspective you know in terms of like with with amc and just the franchise of the walking dead in general i'm like well no you can do so much with that character and i also think jeffrey morgan also knows that and he wants the character he wants to see the character live on for a lot longer he also wants the character to reunite with rick that's a big thing there so i i don't think i don't think that's that, that's gonna happen i just i don't i think what's gonna happen is He's going to survive. There'll be an ending that's going to happen. That will be what happens in the comic. There'll be some little moments there between him and Judith. But is he going to die? Uh, no, I, I just don't see it. But like I said, that's why it would shock me the most, right? If they actually went and did that, like, holy shit. Where do you think Negan and Maggie are going to find that mask? They seem to be far from home as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, like they are far from home, obviously. I don't know where they find that mask. My prediction so far is that Negan was holding on to it. But I don't know how he could have been holding on to it unless there was, there was a, a pocket in that jacket that he has and it was in there. I think it's possible that it's just another whisper mask and the whisperer just kind of uh, escaped from the area. There could have been many whispers around. I mean, maybe they encounter some whispers, right? And they kill that whisperer, take that mask. I think that's also really possible. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be that, right? Like, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. But like, I, I feel like out of all of the possibilities, I'm leaning more on like Negan has had it the entire time. I don't think they're going to make it. That'd be a little crazy. But maybe Negan's had one the entire time. He just had it like in his jacket pocket kind of thing. And he'll pull it out at some point. And then Maggie's going to be like, what the hell? And then he'll he'll show her that survival tactic, right? Do you think Negan and Maggie will build up their trust in, in, in each other a little more in episode five? I, uh, you know, th that's the most logical direction that they can go in. I don't see it. I, I really don't see it yet. I, I think they're, they're still trying to get to Meridian. I think Maggie's still using him. I, I don't see that happening. I, I think Negan it might try to, like, calm her down quite a bit. But I really don't see, like, maybe Negan trusts Maggie a little bit more, right? Negan's like, okay, she's not going to kill me yet. I think she's using me to get to this point, so I'm safe for now, right? Like, he might learn a little bit more there, but Maggie, I just, I, I think obviously Maggie's going to trust him, but, like, she's probably still planning to kill him. She still has other plans, and so, you know, to in, in a sense of building up that relationship there between the characters, no. I don't think they're going to like each other anymore in this episode. I think it's still going to be like, screw you, right? Do you think we will see Elden's fate in this episode? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I don't think we'll we'll see Elden's fate in this episode. That's a little bit too much. Like, there's four storylines here going on, right? Maggie and Negan literally just left Elden. There's no way they're going to go back right away. Uh, there's the Commonwealth storyline, the Judith storyline, and then there's the Hilltop storyline with Aaron and Carol. That's four big storylines. I don't think we're going to learn about Elden's fate in this one. I think if we learn about it at all, it's going to be in episode eight. I think they're going to come back from Meridian, stop off at the church, and then maybe they, they find Elden there. Or maybe, because that is a bit of a detour, right? Like, it is a detour to stop off there on your way back. Maybe Elden or the Reapers find Elden at some point, and that's a big moment in episode eight, where Maggie sees Elden, I guess, maybe dead as a walker, or like they do some crazy thing there, right? Next question from Xmas Girl, and I've, you've been really getting at me about this question, and I really want to answer it. So you asked, do you think this Walking Dead wiki timeline is accurate? Do you think it's possible that Morgan leaves in season seven of Fear with the CRM? I know a long, a long shot, but uh, wouldn't it be cool to see Jadis as the CRM soldier that is standing over Morgan in the trailer? It would connect all three shows just like that. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be Jadis. I think that would be super cool, but I, I don't, I don't think that's Jadis. That's most likely either going to be like Isabel or a random CRM soldier that's standing over Morgan in that trailer. And in terms of the timeline, let's let's see here. So first of all, we have the global outbreak that uh, happens in 2010. 
uh, Rick Grimes' last episode in, in 2014. I guess that makes sense. That's a little weird for that to be happening in 2014, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. And then we have uh, The World Beyond happening in 2020 there. Uh, season 11 of, of uh, Walking Dead 2022. I guess that kind of lines up a little bit. Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 finale 2014, but it's about 50, 60 days, I guess 60 days later or after Rick's last episode. I like. I think that's probably it. The thing is about timelines is like, I don't know the, the exact day, right? Like, I think people try to follow the days, but I don't think the writers even know the days. I think fans like to try to follow this, but the writers don't even know. That's why now they just kind of say generally, like they'll say, oh, it's been six years when you're like, but a bunch of months have passed. It's been, it's probably closer to seven years, right? The writers forget these things all the time. And I, I wish they paid more attention to it because it would, it would definitely clear up a lot of this stuff here. And I think if you want to world build like a timeline, is one of the most crucial elements there. And The Walking Dead's timeline has always been so messed up. And that goes back to the whole Carl days and how fast he was aging and stuff. People have been so everywhere with this timeline. And I think that was a big reason why they didn't want to get into all of this. But I mean, looking at this timeline here, I think this is generally right. I mean, Rick's last episode could be a little bit after the Fear Season 6 finale, right? Like it depends on, on what the writers are thinking with all of it. It could be this, it could be closer together. World Beyond, I think, is a little closer, or if anything, Walking Dead Season 11 isn't set in the year 2022, it's set, like, right now, in, in fall 2021, because they, they are closer, I think they're, like, six months to ten months closer, some time has passed, but they are a little bit closer than this, I don't think they're two years away from each other, like, they're both ten years in, right now, Season 11 definitely isn't twelve years in, but eleven years, I could definitely see that, and I think that, I mean, I, honestly, my, I would just change this to fall 2021, and I think for the most part, this is accurate, and this is kind of cool to see, actually, to see that, and I still can't believe Rick's last episode was in 2014, that's, <laughs> like, what? But thank you guys so much for posting all of your questions, I really did enjoy doing all of this. If you have a question that you have to ask me, then definitely post them in the Q&A section on Discord, again, if to go follow my Discord, the link is down below, but I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.